AWS Inferentia is a custom machine learning chip that you can use for high performance inference predictions. Hi guys, this is Abhi from GokchaDB. And in this video, you're going to learn six things about Inferentia in AWS. Let's get into it. Number one, in the training phase of machine learning, you feed your model a curated data set so it can learn everything it needs for data analysis. Later, in the inference phase, the model can make predictions or inferences based on live data to produce actionable results. In AWS, you can use Inferentia accelerators to deliver high performance at low cost for your deep learning inference applications. Stay tuned, there's more to come. Number two. The first generation Inferentia Accelerator powers EC2 INF1 instances, which delivers up to 2.3 times higher throughput and up to 70% lower cost per inference than comparable EC2 instances. Giddy up! Number three, the second generation Inferentia Accelerator called Inferentia 2 delivers up to four times higher throughput and up to 10 times lower latency compared to the first generation Inferentia. Number four, Amazon EC2 Inf2 instances are designed to deliver high performance at the lowest cost. They're optimized to deploy increasingly complex models such as large language models and vision transformers at scale. Howdy, partner. Number five, by using AWS Neuron SDK with Inferentia, you get native support for popular machine learning frameworks such as PyTorch and TensorFlow. This means you can continue using your existing workflows and get started with AWS Inferentia with only a few lines of code changes. Last but not the least, number six. Inf2 instances support scale-out distributed inference with ultra-high-speed connectivity between accelerators. Use cases for inference applications include natural language processing, article summarization, media generation, speech recognition, and fraud detection. Attention! In summary, Inferentia 2 accelerators are purpose-built to run deep learning models at scale while offering up to 50% better performance per watt over comparable Amazon EC2 instances. There you have it. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell. Until next time.